Hello viewers, today I will be talking about importance of part preparation before any surgery. So this video is dedicated about talking about importance of part preparation and how and when I do my part preparation. Now most of the surgeons, especially the younger orthopedic surgeons, they focus too much about performing the surgery and they want to do as many surgeries as possible. And I understand it is important. However, part preparation is the most underlooked aspect of the surgery in my experience, especially in developing countries. And hence, I am making this video. Now, when we talk about part preparation, part preparation is nothing but shaving of hairs in the surgical area. And it is important because it can interfere during the surgical exposure, during the closure, while you are applying the dressing, uh, the stressing will not stick and it leads to surgical site infection in small percentage of patients. And in these patients, if you have infection, especially after an orthopedic surgery in which you have put an implant, it is catastrophic for both patients as well as surgeons. So I will be talking about few aspects and I hope after watching this video, I would request you to change your practice if you find any lacunae in your part preparation before surgery. So the first aspect that I would like to talk about is timing, that what is the right time, when should we do the part preparation. And I can quote ample papers and you can search ample evidence that it has been shown that the part preparation should be as close to operation time as possible. So when I worked in developing countries like England, we used to do part preparation in theater just before surgery. So my experience of India is a lot of orthopedic surgeons and other surgeons, they start doing part preparation a day before the surgery. And what it does is, and when you part prepare and your preparation technique is not good, and if you cause micro abrasions or micro trauma to the skin, it just gives opportunity for bacteria to grow onto the skin and it can lead to surgical site infection causing adverse outcome. So my advice is when you talk about timing, you should do it just before the surgery in operation theater and not a day before. So the second aspect of part preparation is what is the best equipment or tool to do the preparation. Um, now in western worlds you will see only one tool and that will be hair clipper. Um, however, my experience when I came to India was the commonest thing that was used for preparation was this surgical blade. Um, this would be used in hand or on a BP handle and you will see a lot of times when you part prepare with this you will inevitably make cuts because when you operate in orthopedics, you operate in a lot of areas which are not smooth and even in precise hands, you will lead to small cuts which are visible to skin and micro cuts which you can't see on the skin. And if you do this preparation a day before, all it does is it gives a good bed for the flora, microbial flora to grow on the skin and that increases the risk of surgery. Now in some institutions you have a barber who will come a day before and you will use something like this uh, which you will see in a saloon but in some hospitals the barbers will come and use this to do the part preparation and again even in the best hands you will have uh, micro abrasions, you will have cuts which will lead to uh, microbial growth and will lead to infection in some of your patients. So if you are an orthopedic surgeon or any surgeon, I would request you to invest in a hair clipper. Now hair clipper is not an expensive device. It will cost you maybe around 700, 800 rupees and this will last you for few years. And it is the best way of doing the part preparation. Now the third aspect is the technique. Uh, I understand a lot of orthopedic surgeons in developing countries they don't want to do the part preparation because they feel when they are preparing uh, the parts in theater, the hair goes everywhere and it can uh, be a nuisance and hence uh, they would like the part preparation to be done 
before the theta. Now, what if you do use a good technique, the spillage of hair will be next to negligible. So, my the next part will be, I will show you how to do the part preparation and with this technique, you will have a zero hair spillage and you will have a perfectly ready part in theater with clipper which will most definitely eliminate infection in some of your patients. Now we are ready, I am just demonstrating uh, what I have said so far. So if at all uh, you are an orthopedic surgeon or any surgeon, you should invest in a clipper. So you should always, always use a clipper to prepare the part. And part preparation ideally should be done in the theater. You know, I know as I've told earlier that people do it a day before and use all kind of instruments. Now the people are nervous that when they prepare the parts in theater, the hair may spread and this, this is one of the reasons. So what I do is you can use something like a micro pore here and stick it on the patient's leg. Or, if you have access to Elastoplast, this is slightly expensive, but this is much better. So all you need to do is to identify one end, just take it off towards the end, and just start using your clipper. This way, when you prepare the part, you will not lose any hair, it will not become loose, it will stick to your micro pore. And this is the best way of preparing the part. You're not scratching anything, you don't cause any micro trauma, you don't cut the skin, and you don't spill hair anyway. So you can see it's coming up quite nicely, and you don't spill any hair. And I think this is extremely important because post operative infection in orthopedic surgery is disaster both for patients as well as surgeons. And I think you should try every single thing in order to minimize it. And I think part preparation is one thing which I feel is taken very lightly in developing countries and we don't pay too much attention. We pay all our focus towards what implant we are going to use and what approach we are going to use and what operation we are going to use. But this, if not done properly, can also lead to your infection and may spoil an extremely well done operation. So you should take good care. So I would recommend that you should start using this trick in your practice. This will not increase your cost in any way, but it will most definitely decrease the risk of infection. I can guarantee that. So this is how it looks. So this is how I do my part preparation. And I would recommend everyone to invest in a clipper, and do part preparation the way I have shown you. So viewers, this was a demonstration on how I do my part preparation and also talked about few important points about part preparation. So my message is, uh, please uh, invest in a clipper, uh, do part preparation with a clipper, with the technique that I have shown, and part preparation should be done in theater just before surgery. If you follow the principles, I am sure you will eliminate or avoid infection in some of the patients who otherwise would have got infected. I think for me, this is one of the most important videos that I have uploaded apart from the surgical videos which have been uploaded in this channel. So I will request all my subscribers to kindly follow this principle. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Please do subscribe and share our channel. Thank you.